Hi, this is Dee from the Fishing Gardeners. Coming back with a, another tour of the garden. So we're in the middle of July and I decided to go ahead and give you an update of the full garden. Well, at least most of the garden. As you can see in my channel, we've been doing a lot of projects. Um, upgrading the garden, adding a little bit more color because I like a lot of pop. So when we add this color, we just go to the flea markets and um, thrift shops and we get these items for a dollar and two dollars with a can of spray paint and that's how we come up with the colors. So majority of these items are from thrift shops or flea markets. We find the cheapest that we can actually find so that we put in most of our money will go into our gardening, our seeds and our fruit trees. And basically, once we get into the, the fruit trees, I usually will go ahead and um, get a limb off the tree and, you know, grow another one so I can eventually give some away or maybe even sell some after a while. So this is just showing you uh, another tour of our garden with the herbs. And I got some towers, two towers that I put a couple of things in. I have some succulents in there and some spearmint and mints and different things and of course you know the mango trees are really popping they're doing good they're growing very very tall just to, just to let you know that you can grow fruit trees inside pots because that's where the majority of our fruit trees are okay and remember my fruit trees are dwarf fruit trees and semi dwarf fruit trees Okay, so the reason why I got them at Dwarf and Semi Dwarf is so I can grow the majority of them in pots. The ones that I can't grow in pots, they will go into the ground once they get a certain age. But the majority of them will be in pots. And I have a, a, a decent variety of the mango trees. So these right here are my seedlings that they're growing pretty well also. So I'm experimenting and trying new things with the seedlings. And like I said, I will eat a fruit from my fruit tree and I'll plant a seed. Just doing an experiment to see how long they take. Whether they make it or not, it's just an experiment. So it's not going to hurt one way or another because I already have the tree. And like I said, the things that you see around the garden, I have these things from the flea markets and thrift stores and certain items. A couple of items was purchased like these towers right here with a coupon code. And I'll be growing letters in majority of this tower. I just put a couple of things in there waiting for it to cool down to the fall crop. And that's when the letters will eventually going in. That's a blueberry right there. And we got the fire pit getting ready so when it gets a little chilly outside. So this is my first time growing sunflowers right here. So I'm trying about four of them to see which ones will succeed. Okay and here we are going right into the miracle trees. I have three miracle trees and they're very good producers. I love these trees. They're you know a miniature bush and I'm going to keep them in pots and they give us lots of miracle berries so I definitely like these trees and like I said I got three of them and these are the bigger ones and then this is the baby right there and the baby actually gives me the most miracle fruits she's always popping so these are my three miracle trees then right here you can see the small citrus clementine tree I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but you get the picture. And as you can see, it's just producing a lot. And like I said, these are bite-sized citrus. Baby papaya tree right here. Coming up. And then this right here is a tangerine tree right here. Not producing anything, so I'm going to grab onto that. And we got some turmeric coming on here. And an olive tree, not an olive tree, an avocado tree from seed. 
Okay, and here we go with the loquat right here. And this loquat tree is about three years old. Let's see. We got some sweet potato going on on this side right here. Japanese sweet potato. And we have an avocado tree. And this is the A avocado tree. And this is the B, Oro Negro. And the other one is a Choquette. Choquette. I guess I'm pronouncing it right. This is a Kamito star apple. And this right here is a Jujube right here. Growing nice. She's really getting big since I first gotten her. Remember, I got all these trees as babies. And this right here is the Jamaican cherry tree right here. It's produced. I mean, these cherries taste so sweet. They taste so delicious. And look how tall she's gotten since I've got her. These were itty bitty trees just a couple of months ago. Look at the height they have now. And this right here is a cha-cha cha -cha, uh, cha -cha tree. It will be a tree by the time it's finished growing. And of course, we got the tree of life, the moringa. Look how tall she has gotten. Okay, and there we go, my lovely pineapple patch right here. Just love pineapple, so you got a couple of them growing. They'll get there. And this is a tea plant, and I can't remember. I think these were all white something lilies. I can't even remember what the name of the plant is. And here go my blueberry patch right here. Okay, I had to go ahead and repot all of them and get them ready for fall. But still producing a little bit of blueberries, but, you know, blueberry season's kind of up for me right now. And when we come around here, these are my pollinators right here. I'm actually spreading them all through the yard, but there's one certain area right here where I keep a lot of the pollinators. There you go with that pop color again right there. I just love that color. As we coming around, this is the fig tree. Actually, we got three fig trees right here in this area. And I just cut this one down because it was just all over the place. And it's still producing figs. There's the other one I just cut down. And this one. As quickly as I cut them down, in three weeks they come back. Okay, that's an olive tree right here. She is getting tall. And when we go over here, it's a sapodella, a lano sapodella. I actually have two of them right here. I can't wait for those to continue to grow. And here we got the Miwa kumquat right here. These are another bite-sized citrus. And this is the variegated kumquat. And we have another Miwa. Okay, we come around here. These are the tangerines right here. See how much fruit you can still get in pots? And these are just babies. And look how big this pineapple plant is. It's so big I couldn't even put it in my pineapple patch. On over here, these right here are red navel oranges right here. So there's about three oranges in this. I have to put it in a bigger pot. I didn't want to move it until the oranges are done. But I got three, which is pretty good in that small pot. Okay, and we have the Jambu Wax Apple right here. Look how tall she's gotten over the summer. And this right here is a Scarlet Beauty. Look how tall she's gotten. Those are some sweet plums. Yep, plum season's over, but she's still growing. And here we go right here. We have the pomegranate, and that's the baby pomegranate one. And the big mother one behind it. Didn't get any pomegranates this year, but those were babies and they just growing. And this is the Black Sapote right here. She's growing like crazy still. And this right here is a, a um, semi loquat tree. And this right here is a Pakistani mulberry. Boy, she's gotten tall since I've gotten her. So, yep, this is a shaded area. So these plants do, these trees do pretty good over here in this area. That's why I keep them over here in this area. Put little windmills on them to keep the birds away. Right here, we got a lovely large June plum tree. And these these pots right here, I just keep them go all the way along my fence. I got some okra growing here. And I got some papaya trees. 
I'm getting this fixed up and I'm putting my potatoes down straight down here in pots and collard greens as the fall is going. So I'm getting the garden ready for fall crops. I will be planting collard greens, mustard greens, cabbage, potatoes, you know, lettuce. So I'm getting that ready. And these are a lot of blueberry plants that I also put on the sides, moving them in different areas to see how they grow on each side of the house, just different areas. And this ice cream um, mango tree has not grown since I brought it, but I believe in her. Another papaya tree, another blueberry. Look at the aloe grow. This aloe is getting bigger and bigger. Got some herbs. Another aloe. And got some more sweet potato right there. Okay, and that's one side of my fence line right there. Now we're coming to the other side and we got some more June plum and another wax apple in the corner. Got some natal plum right there. This June plum is just like vigorous. I mean, it's just growing like crazy. Okay, and we have right here Logan, and she's really pushing out. And we have the, um, we got these sugar apples, um, Edamoya, and this is the regular sugar apples. I have three sugar apple trees, and this one, look how tall she's gotten. She's going right past my roof. And that's her sister, getting just as tall. And we have another sugar apple, getting just as tall. And these were all itty bitty babies and twigs when I got them. Okay, and there we go with the soursop. She's really gotten nice and bushy, just nice and full. I love the way these trees are growing. Okay, we got the lychee right here, and she's coming back. I had to trim her all the way down because something attacked her, and she's coming back nice and green. And we got the java jacata. She's falling out like crazy. And we got the nagami. Look at all those bite-sized citrus on here, and she's still flowering. And we got some spearmint right there. Okay, our water catcher right there. And right here, these are some persimmons. I got four of those. One in the ground, the other three in the pots. I just got a good deal on them, so we have four. Now, as you can see, they can fruit now. We got the yucca plant. Slash cassava. Look how big she's gotten. And that's a squirrel trying to run across that just scared me across the fence. And look at the citrus. Is this going to town? Maya lemons, grapefruits, key limes, you know, three, three different types of grapefruits. Those grapefruits right there. I mean, producing pretty well. And like I said, they're all in pots, so. We have a lot of citrus. They're doing what they need to do. That back there is a variegated pink lemon tree. And here right there is my ice cream mango tree. I like wall art, as you can see, or different like, types of art. And here's the peppers got it going on. They still thriving, even in all this heat, which is kind of shocking. But they're doing what they need to do. I'm pulling peppers out of here um, every three days. I'm harvesting peppers, and I'm actually putting them all in the freezer because they're growing so fast, faster than I can um, find something to do with them. So right now, they're going in the freezer, and then I'll utilize them, you know, a couple at a time or Probably make some sauces.
Okay, we come back here. There's another pepper, banana pepper, and we got another mulberry tree, an everbearing mulberry. And we're hiding, or hiding two mango trees because they, they're trying to hide from the sun. We got the banana tree and some sugar cane going on right here. And, of course, the ice cream bean tree. I really can't wait for the fruit to grow on this one. But remember, she's a baby, so that will probably not be till next year. And another papaya and banana trees. The papaya tree is actually producing fruit. And we got the peach trees going on. Okay, and guava. And that is the pink guava. It's doing pretty good right there. Okay, I'd like to thank you for coming with me to this short tour right here. And just giving you a quick update of what we've been doing in the garden. We just do a lot of pro little projects that's very cost effective. You know, and I forgot, this is my Barbados cherry tree right here. Well, I have three of them. And we've been picking cherries off of there every other day. Okay. Thank you for coming on this tour with me. And I'll have a blessed day. Goodbye.